himself to be a prophet, Muhammad, a different kind of exterminator, had a very different view of flies and disease. Sahih al-Bukhari, 3320, narrated Abu Huraira. The prophet said, If a housefly falls in the drink of any one of you, he should dip it in the drink. For one of its wings has a disease, and the other has the cure for the disease. Sunan Abu Daud, 3844, it was narrated that Abu Huraira said, The Messenger of Allah said, If a fly falls into the vessel of one of you, then immerse it, for on Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, made a remarkable statement about the flies carrying antidotes. Narrated Abu Huraira, Allah's Apostle said, If a fly falls in the vessel of any of you, let him dip all of it into the vessel, and then throw it away, for in one of its wings there is a disease and in the other there is healing, antidote for it, i.e., the treatment for that disease. Translation of Sahih Bukhari, Volume 7, Book 71, Number 673. Quote, narrated Abu Huraira, the Prophet said, If a house fly falls in the drink of any one of you, he should dip it in the drink, for one of its wings has a disease and the other has the cure for the disease. Translation of Sahih Bukhari, Volume 4, Book 54, Number 537. Quote, note, the Hadith is speaking about one random fly, and not many flies. It is not talking about the filthy places that are infested with garbage, rodents, diseases and countless insects. Also visit, the fly's digestive miracle, mentioned in the Holy Quran and confirmed by science. Ugly but useful, the sheep blowfly, is one of the fly species that might provide humans with new antibiotics. The surface of flies is the last place you would expect to find antibiotics, yet that is exactly where a team of Australian researchers is concentrating their efforts. Working on the theory that flies must have remarkable antimicrobial defenses to survive rotting dung, meat and fruit, the team at the Department of Biological Sciences, Macquarie University, set out to identify those antibacterial properties manifesting at different stages of a fly's development. Our research is a small part of a global research effort for new antibiotics, but we are looking where we believe no one has looked before, said Ms. Joanne Clark, who presented the group's findings at the Australian Society for Microbiology Conference. In Melbourne this week, the project is part of her PhD thesis. The scientists tested four different species of fly, a house fly, a sheep blowfly, a vinegar fruit fly and the control, a Queensland fruit fly which lays its eggs in fresh fruit. These larvae do not need as much antibacterial compound because they do not come into contact with as much bacteria. Flies go through the life stages of larvae and pupae before becoming adults. In the pupae stage, the fly is encased in a protective casing and does not feed. We predicted they would not produce many antibiotics, said Ms. Clark. They did not. However the larvae all showed antibacterial properties, except that of the Queensland fruit fly control. As did all the adult fly species, including the Queensland fruit fly, which at this point requires antibacterial protection because it has contact with other flies and is mobile. Such properties were present on the fly surface in all four species, although antibacterial properties occur in the gut as well. You find activity in both places, said Ms. Clark. The reason we concentrated on the surface is because it is a simpler extraction. The antibiotic material is extracted by drowning the flies in ethanol, then running the mixture through a filter to obtain the crude extract. When this was placed in a solution with various bacteria including E. coli, golden staph, candida, a yeast, and a common hospital pathogen, antibiotic action was observed every time. We are now trying to identify the specific antibacterial compounds, said Ms. Clark. Ultimately these will be chemically synthesized. Because the compounds are not from bacteria, any genes conferring resistance to them may not be as easily transferred into pathogens. It is hoped this new form of antibiotics will have a longer effective therapeutic life. Antibacterial action of myiasis causing flies. Erdman Gr. Dot. Department of Pharmacy Practice, College of Pharmacy, University of Minnesota, Minneapolis, MN 55455, USA. Some species of chlophorid blowflies lay their eggs in wounds. Their larvae develop by feeding on the tissue, and the infection is known as myiasis or fly strike. But wounds, from whatever cause, are frequently contaminated with bacteria, many OF which can spread in the bloodstream causing septicemia and or toxemia. 
For example, wound contamination with Clostridium welchi, leading to gas gangrene, was a frequent cause of death amongst battlefield casualties. It is from such situations that early observations were made on the beneficial effect of some blowfly larvae in limiting the bacterial infection of wounds. Indeed, some military surgeons would deliberately infest wounds with blowfly maggots in order to prevent bacterial complications. Now, a century or two later, the search for new antibiotics had led researchers back to these early observations, and in this article, Gory Erdman describes progress in understanding the antibacterial action of blowfly maggots. Prophet Muhammad Salalahu backquote Alehi wa salam, said, if a housefly falls in the drink of any one of you, he should dip it in the drink, for one of its wings has a disease and the other has the cure for the disease. Al-Bukhari. Also, Ibn Majah narrated that the messenger of Allah, Salalahu backquote Alehi wa salam, said, one of the fly's wings carries poison while the other carries antidote. When it falls in the food, dip it, for the sake of Allah, for verily he, Allah, makes the poison take effect first and he makes the cure come last. This hadith contains two areas of interest, fiqh, Islamic jurisprudence, and medicinal. As for the fiqh part, the hadith states that when a fly falls in water or fluids, it does not make it impure, according to the majority of the scholars. None among the early generations contradicted this ruling. The Prophet Sallallahu backquote alayhi wa salam, ordered the fly that falls on the food be dipped in it, thus killing the fly, especially if the food is hot. If the fly's death inside the food would make the food impure, the Prophet Sallallahu backquote alayhi wa salam, would have ordered us to discard the food. On the contrary, the Prophet sought to salvage the food. As for the medicinal value contained in the hadith, Abu, Ubaidah, may Allah be pleased with him, said that the purpose behind dipping the fly, in the drink, is to extract the antidote from, its other wing, just as the poison was extracted from, the wing that fell on the food. Houseflies carry poisonous materials as evidenced by the effect of their bite, such as rash and infection, and this poison is the fly's weapon of defense. When the fly falls into what harms it, it tries to defend itself with the available weapons. The Prophet Sallallahu backquote alayhi wa salam ordered that we neutralize the poisonous substances produced by the fly with the antidote that Allah has kept on its other wing. The fly should then be submerged in the water or the food so that the antidote could neutralize the effect of the poison. This is a remedy that the best medical minds would never be able to discover on their own, because it is coming from prophetic knowledge. The doctors who have good knowledge and comprehension submit to this prophetic remedy and admit that he who was sent with it, is indeed the perfect human being who is supported by divine revelation that is beyond human power. From, the medicine of the prophet by, Ibn Qayyim is an 8th century, Hijri, Islamic scholar whose writings are popular in the Islamic world even today. What could have been the source of this information to the Prophet PBUH 1400 years a goth microbiota of the fly, as these microorganisms are collectively referred to, is very diverse and the ecology of that microbiota is extremely complex. R. J. Dillon of the University of Bath, Department of Biology and Biochemistry, mentions that new kingdoms of life have been found among the microorganisms living on or within insects. He writes, Molecular studies have revealed unrecorded microbial sequences in many natural samples to the extent that new kingdoms of life have been discovered in the domain archaea. He also writes, discussing how some of the microbiota of the housefly, Musca domestica, has the ability to suppress disease-causing bacteria. A few studies have examined the impact of the gut microbiota on the establishment of human pathogens and parasites in their insect vectors. Notobiotic insects Greenberg et al., 1970, were used to provide evidence of the bacterial pathogen suppressing ability of the microbiota of Musca domestica and Lucilia sericata. We will not be so bold as to say conclusively that the microbiota of the housefly, both the disease-causing microorganisms and the other microorganisms that suppress them, are exactly what the prophet peace be upon him, was referring to. We must show some caution and self-restraint when dealing with the sacred texts and interpreting what they mean. This is especially true since our scientific knowledge is quite limited. What we know about the natural world is by far less than what we are ignorant of. There could be other qualities of the biological environment of the fly's surface and internal environments that we still do not know about. Therefore, it could very well be that the Prophet peace be upon him, was referring to something else about the fly for which we have yet to acquire scientific knowledge. Most of us might find the idea of dunking a fly in our beverage, removing it, and then taking a drink unsettling to say the least. 
This is especially the case if we have had the privilege of living our lives in a modern society, free of hunger and starvation, where a certain standard of cleanliness is maintained in the environment and it is relatively easy to protect our food and drink from flies and other pests. However, a ruling such as the one mentioned in the Hadith becomes painfully relevant to those who live with hunger and in less sanitary environments where protecting food from flies is not so simple and throwing away food and drink is not so easy an option. Such an environment was that of Arabia 1400 years ago, and regrettably, there are still many places in the world where we find scarcity and what by today's assessment are substandard living conditions. People under such circumstances quite often do consume food and drink that has come in contact with flies. If they had to discard all such foods, it would impose a serious hardship upon them. Also, this hadith is not obligating Muslims to drink beverages in which flies have fallen. It is just advising them as to what to do in case they wish to do so. A Muslim does not have to eat or drink anything that he feels an aversion to consuming. Today, most of us would understandably be repelled by the notion of drinking a beverage from which a fly had taken a sip, let alone fallen into. Islamic law takes such natural aversion into account. We can see how Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, when he was served a spiny-tailed lizard to eat, refrained from partaking of it. Khalid B. Al-Walid noticed this and asked if eating the meat of the spiny-tailed lizard was unlawful. The Prophet peace be upon him, replied, No. It is just that it is not found in the land of my people, and I find myself disinclined to it. He did not eat it, simply because it did not agree with his disposition. It was not a question of whether or not its flesh was permitted by Islamic law. We can apply the same ruling to a drink in which a fly has landed. Life in a medical college. Biology is life. Health and sports. Islam and Muslims. Science and life. Life sciences and you. Human psychology. Muslims on Quora, Religion and Science, The Islamic Page, No Muhammad, Philosophy for Life, Human Anatomy, Political Science India, Islam Daily, Islam Knowledge, Atheism Now, Doctors Blog, Medical Doctors, Doctors Knowledge Share, Savior of Mankind, Life is Beautiful, Coronavirus Vaccine, Health Update, World History, Diabetes Management, Virus and Disease, Project, Fit, with, Sam, Zawar Mahmood, Answered May 16, 2016. Why did Prophet Muhammad PBUH say that if a fly falls in your drink, then you should fully dip it in the drink? When a housefly falls in the drink, it already has given out its all germs in the drink. Dipping it doesn't make it more dangerous than the drink already is. Flies can cause diseases but none are related to dipping it in the drink because no one does that. Every disease exists without dipping the housefly. If this hadith is authentic, what does it mean? It means that we will not die from drinking something in which a housefly died even if we dip it into the drink. And here you can survey people who believe in this hadith are still alive, they don't have any disease, and they do this thing on daily basis whenever the fly fells in, only housefly not mosquitoes or anything else. My mother does it. I told her how disgusting it is and she should stop. And she don't care enough to think about I. India's largest tech, product and design conference, book now. Zainab who served poisonous meat to Prophet Muhammad said to him, You have killed my father, my husband, my uncle, my entire family at Kaibar that's why I mixed poison in your meat. Why was he so cruel to her family that she had to take revenge? 1701 Views Was Muhammad making a metaphor when he said that there's a poison in one of the wings of a fly and a cure in the other is for the Quran? 7218 Views What are some things Muslims agree that Muhammad did wrong? 48,203 views. Palwasha Bibi. Answered May 3, 2016. Why did Prophet Muhammad PBUH say that if a fly falls in your drink, then you should fully dip it in the drink? This question is so old, it has no new answers. There are innumerable references attesting to the fact that houseflies of all varieties carry antibiotic-like compounds in their bodies. Prophet Muhammad asked us to dip the fly well into the liquid so that the antibiotic seeped in well. Department of Molecular Biology and Genetics, Cornell University, Ithaca, NY14853, USA. Received the 7th of July 2000. Accepted the 25th of October 2000. Available online the 8th of March 2001. Abstract. The male fruit fly, Drosophila melanogaster, transfers to his mate proteins that increase his reproductive success by causing changes in her behavior and physiology. Here we show that among the transferred proteins are ones with antibacterial activity. We performed Escherichia coli overlay assays of native page or renatured SDS page of Reproduct. 
Inner Launi, answered February 28, 2019. Because, he had no idea about science and the actual amount of bacteria flies carry in their body. He is nothing more but a liar and a false prophet whose only purpose was living his fairy tale life and have sex with nine-year-olds and multiple women. List of scientific errors in the Quran. Biology. Quran 76. 2. Yusuf Ali. Verily we created man from a drop of mingled sperm, in order to try him, so we gave him, the gifts, of hearing and sight. Arabic. Quran 86. 5-8. Yusuf Ali. Now let man but think from what he is created. He is created from a drop emitted, proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs, surely, Allah, is able to bring him back, to life. Arabic. In Sir Hamdan. Answered May 26, 2016. Why did Prophet Muhammad PBUH say that if a fly falls in your drink, then you should fully dip it in the drink? In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Only in modern times was it discovered that the common fly carried parasitic pathogens for many diseases including malaria, typhoid fever, cholera, and others. It was also discovered that the fly carried parasitic bacteriophagic fungi capable of fighting the germs of all these diseases. The Prophet Muhammad, upon him and his house blessings and peace, alluded to both facts 1,400 years ago when he said, as narrated from Abu Huraira and Abu Sa'bak quoted al-Qudri by al-Bukhari and in the Sunan. Less than less than if a fly falls into one of your containers, of food or drink, immerse it completely, phalygmus hu kulahu, before removing it, for under one of its wings there is venom and under another there is its antidote. Greater than greater than, if you would like to read the whole answer. Ahmad Zia Abdali. Answered May 3, 2016. Why did Prophet Muhammad PBUH say that if a fly falls in your drink, then you should fully dip it in the drink? It's a hadith from the Prophet PBUH. Whenever a fly falls down into your drink then fully dip it and you can have your drink because now it's free from disease. One wing of the fly is full of disease while the other is healing. When a fly falls down into drink it tries to dip the disease wing into it, so you dip it fully and your drink will be fine. May it be water, tea, or coffee if you don't like to drink after the fly falls down into it 